Hey everyone, my name is Nika Gabrielle. Welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be part two to my Japan haul. This haul is going to be the stationery, Disney, and kind of more random things that I picked up while I was in Japan. If you haven't seen part one to my haul, I'm going to leave it linked down in the description box. That haul was more of the beauty things, so like makeup and skincare. So if you're interested in seeing that, go ahead and check it out. I'm gonna start by showing you things that I picked up from Moody. So Muji is basically like an all-around home store. It's kind of similar to Ikea but a little bit more simplified and they sell like stationery and luggage and in the Japan stores I also noticed that they sold snacks which I don't remember seeing here in the States. I was super excited to visit Muji in Japan because well one it's a little bit cheaper there. Not that Muji is too expensive but you know, the cheaper the better. And two, they did have some things that they didn't sell out here. So I was kind of excited about that. So the first thing I picked up from Muji were notebooks. And I know it's crazy. It's like, I'm not even in school anymore. Why do I need this many notebooks? Even while I was still in college, I quickly got over the whole like, super sparkly spiral notebook and the ones that had like a bunch of colors inside of them. So I was really happy when I discovered Muji notebooks because I just found that they were really simple but kind of sleek looking like there was just not a lot going on and that's definitely right up my alley. So the first notebook that I want to share with you are these monthly calendars. They're just blank monthly pages that you can date and organize on your own. I realized that after I finished college, I wasn't using my planners as much as I did while I was still in school. I only really needed to see like an overview of my month because on a day-to-day -day basis, sometimes I'm at work or sometimes I'm just running errands all day so I don't necessarily need like a weekly spread if that makes sense. So that's also why I picked up these notebooks because I'll use this to look at the overview of my month and I'm going to use these notebooks to kind of create my to-do lists for each day. So this is an old Muji notebook that I already started to write my to-do lists in. So basically I would just like write the date and then start making a to-do list and I would only do these on the days where I felt that I had a lot of things to accomplish because with a planner I felt that some of the days were getting put to waste because I didn't even touch my planner that day. So at least in this way, I kind of just need to write down the things I need to do on the days I need to do them. Does that make sense? So these two kind of go hand in hand and I know it seems kind of redundant because it's like, why do I always need to be carrying two notebooks when I can just carry one planner? But it works for me and when I'm traveling and stuff, I don't necessarily need to take this one because I'm on vacation and I would probably just bring this so then if I need to plan for some other future dates, I have my schedule with me. I wanted to mention that these other notebooks that I have here are actually checkered notebooks. I am planning to use this once the black notebook that I showed you kind of runs out of paper. One reason that I prefer checkered notebooks is because it helps me like align things better when I'm like indenting some of my notes. And I'm also hopefully planning to get into like bullet journaling, not in like a serious sense, but just for fun. And hopefully I'll also get back into practicing my Japanese because that would have been really helpful on my trip. One more thing that I wanted to share from Muji is this pouch case. The literal name for this was like notebook sleeve with pen pouch. So I don't know if you can see right here, there's this kind of pen pouch on the inside where I'm keeping like a pen and a pencil. I thought that was just really handy so that when I'm carrying my planner and my notebook, I can just keep it in here, which is what I've been doing. If I am only planning to organize my planner at a coffee shop or something, I can just take this. Or if I have like a backpack full of my editing equipment, then I can put this in my backpack and at least it protects my notebooks. 
I also want to share this little charm that I picked up from Mount Takao. Mount Takao was a destination that we did like a day hike on the weekend that we were in Japan. It was really peaceful and so so green and at the top they had like food and little shops and a temple and I know it's so touristy of me but I did pick up a few charms. This one right here the girl said it was like to help your wishes and dreams come true and again i know i'm so lame but i thought it was really cute and the reason why i attached it to this is because you know this is where like all my planning is happening so hopefully with the planning that i'm doing for my goals in life you know you can always use a bit more luck for that next i'm going to share all the writing tools that i picked up these are kind of from a variety of places. I have some from Muji and some from like a stationery store and one from a bookstore at the airport. From Muji, I just picked up a basic 0.5 mechanical pencil. I also picked up some lead and a 0.38 black pen. These are the two things that I've actually been keeping in my like planner pouch just in case I need to jot things down. From a stationery store, I picked up another pencil. This is a Pilot Opt pencil. I actually had an old one of these um, as a gift before and I really liked it but I think I misplaced it. So I bought another one and it has just this kind of like simple leafy floral design on it. What I really like about this pencil is that it's one of those like shaky pencils so you shake it and then I don't know if you can see that at all. There you go. But the lead is coming out. Ta-da! Next from that store, I picked up backups of my favorite gel pens. So these are the 0.38 Pilot Juice Pens and I picked it up in the color Aqua Blue and two of them in the gray color. Ever since I was a kid, I've always preferred gel pens over like ballpoint pens. I just feel like they just look a lot prettier on paper. I have a whole bunch of different colors from the Pilot Juice line, but these two are probably my most used besides black and I thought I would just pick some up in Japan because they were a lot cheaper than what I was paying for online. And lastly, from a bookstore in the airport, I picked up the Pilot Frixon colors. So these are basically like light markers slash highlighters or that's how I'm planning to use them. So I picked it up in blue, gray, and this super pretty like orangey peachy color. I don't really use highlighters as I used to back in school where I would like highlight the bejesus out of things. What I like about these markers is that they're really really thin so I'm not planning to like highlight things anymore but maybe like underlining them or like making a box around certain notes. I think that's what these would be really good for other than doodling which I do a lot of. I wanted to share one of the food items I picked up from Muji. Most of the snacks that I bought from Muji I gave as gifts or I've already opened and it wouldn't be pretty to share in this video. So this is the only thing I haven't opened yet. This is the white peach and green tea for cold water. I'm not much of a coffee drinker and I've been trying to find more teas that are suitable for the summertime. So when I saw that this was like made for cold water, I thought it would be pretty interesting. Since we're on the topic of snacks, I just wanted to share one snack item that I just am totally obsessed with. If you follow me on Instagram, you've seen this on my story. The Uji Hojicha Kit Kat, which is basically a roasted green tea flavored Kit Kat and the more like flavorful version. In general, I actually prefer Hojicha over green tea and that says a lot because I freaking love matcha. So the fact that I love this more that, that, that's a big deal. It was a bit expensive and I probably wouldn't spend this much on any other Kit Kat here at home but I decided to stock up because I've just been searching for this for years. I'm not really sure where you can get this here in the States because I haven't found a place but if you ever get the opportunity to try this, please try it out. And if anything, definitely try Hojicha in general. It's roasted green tea that you can basically find in 
any Asian supermarket and it's really really good. Next, I'm going to share with you the things that I picked up from Tokyo Disney Sea. I actually didn't bring any ears with me on this trip because I was planning to buy this specific pair. This is the Shelly May ears. Isn't it just so cute? If you don't know who Shelly May is, she is the kind of girl counterpart for Duffy the Bear, which is Mickey's bear if I'm correct. <laughs> but yeah, these are just so cute. And Duffy and Shelly May are actually super, super popular back in Tokyo. I haven't seen as many like Duffy and Shelly May merch here in the States, but it's slowly getting here. They definitely sell like the dolls at the Disney store at Disneyland. With the ears, I also picked up the Shelly May pouch. This is like super kitty of me. It's basically just one of those like really small pouches that you could barely fit anything in. So here there's like a small space for like, I guess a card, but I wouldn't honestly feel safe putting a card in here. I'll probably like stick my phone in here. Like even if it's sticking out, I'll put it in here. Like if I'm going on a ride or something. And right here, there's just this small zipper compartment. I'd probably put like a chapstick, some eye drops, and some money in here. You really can't fit a lot, but I thought it was just too cute to pass up. This was super popular in Tokyo Disney Sea. I saw a lot of girls have this, and I thought it would be really unique here to take it around in Disneyland. So, yeah. Next thing I picked up were these decorated Instax films. I picked it up in Little Twin Stars, some Rio characters, and Hello Kitty in general. These were super affordable in Japan. They were like six or seven dollars for a pack of ten, where here sometimes you find just a plain white film for like over ten dollars so that's like more than a dollar for each film and typically the decorated ones are a lot more expensive so i thought i would give it a try this is my first time ever buying something like this and what i'm actually planning to do is print photos from my tokyo trip on these films just so it kind of would like go hand in hand with the whole like japanese theme i thought it would be super cute Next, I'm going to share with you a few things that I picked up from Daiso. We do have Daiso here in the States and I honestly shouldn't have been so excited but I just get excited over things like this. What I was super surprised to see was that they had a whole section of like Sanrio certified items in Daiso. So everything that I'm mentioning right now was like a dollar. Like, that's so crazy to me because Sanrio can be a little bit more pricier here. So the fact that I was able to get everything here for a dollar and it's super cute. Blessed. The first thing I picked up was this Hello Kitty wipe lid. I know you guys are thinking like, Nika, you're such a child. Why did you buy this? But actually, I thought it would be pretty handy for the few like makeup wipes and body wipes that don't have a plastic lid. I always have a problem with my wipes drying out, so I thought that this would be kind of just handy to have. And it's Hello Kitty. Next, I picked up two super cute contact cases. The first one is Hello Kitty, obviously. And the second one I picked up is this super cute Guretama contact case. It's so, so cute. I'm typically not that picky with my contact cases because they come free when I buy my contact solution, but I couldn't pass this up. It's so, so cute. This next thing I picked up, I actually used on my flight back home. This is a Hello Kitty space bag. I always pack space bags with me on a trip just in case like this past trip i need a little bit more space coming back home with all like the things that i bought and i saw this one at daiso it's so tiny but it's so cute i actually fit a small packing cube of like dirty clothes in here just so it was just a little more compressed and i mean hey it worked and it was super cute so can't go wrong the last thing I picked up is this Hello Kitty travel mesh. 
I actually thought this was a like lingerie underwear bag that you would use when you do laundry, but I guess not. It's basically like a thin packing cube. It has Hello Kitty on the bottom. The last couple of things that I'm going to share are from a store called Nitori in Japan, which is basically like IKEA. It's it's definitely more equivalent to IKEA than Muji, or at least my opinion. We walked into Nitori thinking we weren't really gonna buy anything. I was mainly there for a bathroom, and Kenny was there to buy like I think chopsticks. But can you believe all three of us, Christine, Kenny, and I? all walked out with pillows <laughs> i know you're thinking why the hell would you bring a pillow back didn't that take up so much room coming home yes it did but it was totally totally worth it while christine and i were waiting for kenny we stumbled upon like the area where they had like chairs and whatnot and then we saw the pillows and when we touched it Oh my gosh, I wish you guys could feel this right now. It's the softest thing ever. It's not one of those pillows that has like beads inside. I honestly don't know what's in it, but I like to call this the mochi pillow because they came in colors like gray, pink, brown, green, blue, and yeah, they all seemed like mochi flavors to me. So I actually named my pillow sesame because it looks like a black sesame mochi. And again, you guys are totally judging me right now, but I don't care because it's so soft. I picked up the gray one because it matched the decor in my room. Christine picked up two small ones. She picked up a small pink one and a purple one. And then Kenny bought this ginormous blue one, which I seriously still can't believe that he got because it was huge, but whatever makes him happy. Another crazy thing that Kenny and I bought were blankets. And you're thinking, seriously, Nico, we have blankets in the United States. What are you thinking? Yes, I know, we do have blankets. But what's really cool about this blanket is that it's a cooling blanket. And I've heard this one before. Someone said, why do you need a cooling blanket? Then why are you using a blanket in the first place? Well, you know, when it gets hot and sometimes at night you still just want to be covered, I have this now. So on one side it has this softer, more fuzzy material, which I'm sure is the warmer side. And on this side, this one is definitely more of like a soft, silky feeling. Like just putting it to my face right now, it's so cooling. It's kind of like in the... <coughs> It's kind of like when you're sleeping and you like switch sides so you're on like the cooler side of the bed. That's exactly how this feels and I have it in a whole blanket now. But I am super happy with my purchases. My goal is to go to like the Nitori equivalent that they have here in the States, which I'm sure they do have one, but I am so excited to see everything else that they have. And that's it to this Japan haul. That's pretty much everything that I bought besides specific gifts and other snacks that I didn't really care to share because I just felt like everybody picks up snacks while they're traveling. As I mentioned in my last video, there will be a vlog for Japan, just please be patient with me. But if you're really itching on seeing some more things from my Japan trip, please watch my Japan haul part 1 because you'll see how crazy I was in shopping for beauty items. Anyway, as always, thank you guys so much for taking the time to subscribe and watch this video. Your support means everything to me. I hope this video was helpful for you and that you're having a great day and I will see you guys next time. Bye!